when I was eight, nine years old, and an uncle of mine who was a safari guide actually took me up on one school holiday. Full four weeks, I spent time with him out there in the bush. He showed me lions and elephants, rhinos and buffaloes, hippos and crocodiles. As a city boy, I was like, wow, it just blew my mind, took all these pictures with the old film cameras. And when I go back to school, they'd say, tell us about your holiday. What did you explore? What did you do? I became the famous guy as I showed pictures of nature, I showed pictures of lions. Everybody was so interested and I realized, wow, this is not an element that most people get to enjoy, get to see. And as soon as I was exposed into that, I was so enthusiastic about it. I made sure that every opportunity I would got, I would go back into the world. I remember finishing high school and that uncle of mine, he asked me if you're interested, you can do this guiding course. I got the first license and I got the experience working with him. 15 years later, I'm still guiding and I've never looked back. The wildlife in Zimbabwe keeps me on my toes. The diversity of game and the movement of game there and the dynamics makes it more adventurous as you explore the beauties of the surrounding. The sheer quietness, the bird calls, the sound of the lake, the water, the aura of being in an environment that is calm and worrying less about the sounds of the big cities and sirens and all that. This is an element that excites a part of you that is really discovered. This is a place that actually allows you to dig deeper into yourself and get a better understanding of yourself. The realization that there is more and more untamed and natural areas that are found in the world. Less what we experience as the concrete jungles, there is actual jungles here with more animals and more birds and more exciting stuff to explore where it takes you back to what the native people back in the day before all this development used to explore and enjoy as their natural spaces. Being a safari guide has actually helped me understand the impact of how much conservation has come through people, you know, traveling and exploring these natural habitats. The greatest teacher is visual. What you see happening is what will teach you about nature. And the locals actually become interested in exploring the same trips that these Americans come to on Lake Kariba. The locals pick up on the highlights on what really drives people to come this far and spend money to actually enjoy and view the scenery and thereby exciting an element that they were not aware that is actually right on their backyard. It has made them aware of the importance of preserving and protecting these wildlife areas. It will not only have a balance for the animals to actually survive, but we ourselves are very much dependent on the survival of these ecosystems and hence protecting them allow our future generations to explore and enjoy these natural spaces and the natural wildlife species that we're actually enjoying now. Being a guide excites me because I get to explore different areas. I get to see the wildlife dynamics in terms of the behavior. It's so exciting to actually see how a lion in Manapus behaves from a lion in Wange because of the different environments. And when you learn and explore these ecosystems, they actually blow your mind. And when I go back to town and you know, share with my friends who have not got an opportunity to come here and I share those dynamics, it's always exciting to be the cool guy who knows about nature. Nature teaches you quite a lot of interesting stuff about life. Be patient like a leopard. Be excited like a kudu. All those elements apply to me and everything I do, I always learn from nature. <laughs>